everybody. Welcome to the Wild Garden Farms kitchen. Today we are making an herbal compound butter. So this is a really good way to add lots of garlic flavor, to use some spring greens that are coming up outside right now, and to make something really savory and delicious that's also really good for your body. And it's super simple. Here we go. Start with a stick of butter at room temperature. I was making a casserole this morning, so I just set this plate on top of the oven and it gradually softened the butter, so perfect temperature here. So for butter, my butter of choice is handmade, homemade butter from raw milk. However, we can't always get cream, especially this time of year, or butter this time of year. So the next best option is low temperature pasteurized butter or cream. I was at the Modern Stone Age Kitchen Eat Like a Human four day workshop last weekend that just completely blew my mind. And I was reminded of a story that my grandmother used to tell about butter making. So while I'm telling you the story, I'm gonna chop some spring greens that I got from the garden. They're up everywhere right now. So she would tell us how they would milk their cow, Bessie, and you would let the milk sit in a jar or in a jug and scrape the cream off and put it in a bowl until you can get enough cream to make butter. But because it is raw and unpasteurized and still has all of that beneficial bacteria and those good enzymes in there, the milk would start fermenting and the cream would start fermenting. By the time that they had enough cream to make butter, it was fermented. We made some last weekend. It is ridiculously delicious. And especially for people like me who have a really hard time digesting dairy, this is the best way to do it. Now, not all of us have fresh cream from raw milk or butter that is made from fermented cream. Next best option is butter made from low temperature pasteurized milk and then you can ferment that and turn it into butter, the cream, if you want to. I like to avoid homogenized milk, just personal preference. If you don't have or are not interested in making your own butter, please use a stick of organic butter that you buy from the store. So you have your butter, whatever kind of butter you want, in your bowl. You've got chopped spring onions, which have incredible nutrients, really good flavor. Most of the greens that are coming up right now are fantastic for detox. So I'm just gonna add those, and I'm gonna put actually a lot of those in the bowl with the butter because I love the flavor. And especially as the butter and the herbs meld together over a day or two, super delicious. All right, and then the last two ingredients we're gonna add, I'm just gonna do zest of a lemon. If you have any preserved lemons or fermented lemon peels, this would be a really great recipe to add in. The lemon balances really nicely the earthiness of the greens and adds that acidic, bright component. So I'm gonna put the lemon zest in. And then the last thing I'm gonna add, I have a clove of garlic and we know how delicious lemon and garlic are together. You can super finely chop or grate the garlic to go in. Since it's fresh, I like to get it super fine. Be careful not to hurt your fingers on the microplane. You know what would be really lovely is some roasted garlic in here. So I'm adding the garlic in. And then that's about it. So we have the garlic with all those good immune benefits and just tastes delicious. We have the spring greens with that really earthy, green springtime flavor in there, packed with nutrients. We have the lemon that is uplifting. This is not salted butter, so I'm gonna add a couple twists of salt and we know lemon and pepper go fabulously together, so adding some pepper. All right. It looks beautiful already. And then take a little spoon or a spatula and blend it all together. So this is really nice on toast. This is fabulous on fish. You can eat it with crackers. It smells so good. All right, 
You can leave it in your mixing bowl or I have a nice little ramekin that you can just fill up to make it look a little bit prettier. You could also use other greens like dandelions. You could use chickweed. You could use creasy greens. You could use dandelion flowers. Just pick the little petals off. You know what would be really lovely? Dandelion flowers, the petals, pick them off. Get rid of the green part. And then adding a little bit of honey in here. That would be really good, like a, a sweet butter. So this one's savory. My recommendation is just to eat this on a piece of sourdough toast. You could do like a garlic bread with it. All right. Look how pretty that is. The kitchen smells so good right now. So I'm going to stick this in the fridge for just a little bit. And then before I use it before dinner, I'll pull it out for about 20, 30 minutes just to let it soften up because it's easier to spread that way. A stick of butter, ideally from cows that are pastured and fed organic food. Some spring greens like wild onions. Zest from a lemon. One clove of garlic chopped up finely or zested. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Ah, oh, smells so good. Super easy to make. Go do it. Have fun harvesting your spring greens. Make sure you know what it is that you're harvesting before you forage it and before you eat it. But get out there. Now's the time. Have fun.